Welcome to the magical world of ladybugs. Imagine a place where tiny red domes with black spots roam the lands. A place where every little creature is a superhero in disguise. This isn't a fairy tale. It's the world that exists right under our noses. In gardens, parks, and even our backyards. So let us zoom in on one of the garden's tiniest but mightiest heroes. With their bright red shells and playful spots, ladybugs not only add a splash of color to our world, but also do some seriously important work. Today, we're going to shrink down to the size of a blade of grass and embark on an adventure with one of nature's most enchanting insects. These aren't just any ordinary bugs. They're the guardians of gardens, the defenders of plants, and they wear their red and black armor proudly as they march across leaves and flowers. But why do they wear those spots? Are they just for fashion? Or is there a secret power hidden in those tiny dots? And how do they go from being so small you can barely see them to becoming the spotted aviators we know and love? So, get ready to unfold the wings of your imagination, because we're about to discover how these little bugs live, what they eat, and all the amazing tales of their secret lives. It's a story filled with mystery, wonder, and tiny, tiny polka dots. So, grab your explorer's hat, and let's gently tiptoe into the land of the ladybugs. Who knows? You might even make a few polka-dotted friends along the way. Let's follow one ladybug to see what a day in her life is like. Up with the sun! As the morning light filters through the leaves, our ladybug friend wakes up on the cozy underside of a leaf. This isn't just a comfy bed. It's a safe spot from the night's chill and any prowling predators. Safety is key in the insect world. Breakfast on the move. Breakfast is the first order of the day, and for our spotted friend, it's all about the aphids. Ladybugs love to eat these tiny pests that can damage plants. So, by snacking on them, ladybugs are not only getting the energy they need, but also helping the garden grow. It's a win-win for everyone. With a belly full of aphids, it's time for a bit of exercise. Our ladybug flutters from leaf to leaf, inspecting the plants. She's on the lookout for more aphids or other soft-bodied pests. Did you know that a ladybug can eat up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime? That's a lot of pest control. But life isn't all about eating. Staying safe is just as important. Predators like birds and frogs are always on the lookout for a tasty ladybug snack. That's when the ladybug spots come in handy. To a predator, those spots can look like the eyes of a larger animal, making them think twice before they snack on our ladybug. Clever, right? Afternoon Adventures. As the afternoon sun dapples the garden, our ladybug might meet friends, like bees and butterflies, who are also busy working in the garden. Sometimes, she might even take a quick nap in the warm sun. As the day winds down and the shadows grow long, our little ladybug heads back to her favorite leaf. It's time to find a cozy spot to spend the night. After a day of patrolling and pest control, a good night's rest is well deserved. Discovering the life cycle of a ladybug we are going to uncover one of nature's most amazing transformations. Just like a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, a ladybug goes through some incredible changes as it grows. Let's dive in and see how a tiny egg becomes a beautiful ladybug. Stage one, the egg, a tiny beginning. Our journey begins with a small yellow egg. Imagine something so tiny, it's like a dot on the tip of a pencil. These eggs are often found in clusters on the underside of leaves, snug and safe. The mother ladybug chooses a leaf in a place where the baby ladybugs, called larvae, will have plenty of food to eat once they hatch. Stage 2. The larva, the little predator. About a week after they're laid, these eggs hatch and out comes the larva. Now you might think a baby ladybug would look like a tiny version of its parents. But no, ladybug larvae look more like tiny alligators, with long bodies and bumpy skin. Despite their small size, these larvae are super hungry and start to hunt for aphids right away. Over the next few weeks, they'll eat hundreds of aphids, growing bigger and shedding their skin several times as they go. Stage 3. The pupa. Time for a transformation. After a couple of weeks of non-stop eating and growing, the larva finds a nice spot to begin its next big change. It attaches itself to a leaf or a stem and transforms into a pupa, this stage is like a magic show in slow motion. Inside the pupa, the larva starts to change, rearranging itself into what will become a beautiful adult ladybug. 
This stage is quiet, but a lot is happening inside. Stage 4. The adult, a new beginning. Finally, after about one week as a pupa, something exciting happens. The pupa opens, and out crawls a brand new adult ladybug. But wait, it doesn't have its red and black spots yet. When a ladybug first emerges, its shell is soft and pale. But within hours, it hardens and takes on its famous red color. And slowly, the spots start to appear. Our ladybug then flaps its wings and sets off into the garden, ready to explore, eat aphids, and eventually lay its own eggs, starting the life cycle all over again. Let us uncover the secret superpowers of one of the smallest heroes of our gardens and farms. These little beetles might look cute and delicate, but they have some amazing abilities that make them super important in keeping our green spaces healthy. Let's find out what makes ladybugs the superheroes of the ecosystem. Superpower 1. The Aphid-Eating Champions Our first superpower takes us into the world of ladybug dining. Ladybugs have a huge appetite for pests like aphids, which are tiny bugs that can be really harmful to plants. Aphids suck the sap from plants, making them weak and sick. But never fear, our ladybug heroes are here. With their voracious appetite for these pests, ladybugs help to protect our gardens and farms. Think of them as nature's pest control agents, saving plants one aphid at a time. Superpower 2. Organic Pest Control The second superpower of ladybugs is their role in organic farming. Instead of using chemical pesticides, which can be harmful to the environment, farmers love ladybugs because they are a natural way to control pests. By releasing ladybugs into their fields and gardens, farmers can keep their plants healthy without harming other beneficial insects or the environment. It's like having a tiny army of guardians looking out for the health of the plants. Superpower 3. Masters of Camouflage and Defense Did you know that the bright colors of ladybugs are not just for show? They are a warning to predators that they might not taste very good. This is called aposematic coloration. When in danger, ladybugs can also secrete a yellow fluid from their legs that helps to deter predators. It's their way of saying, back off, I'm not a tasty snack. Superpower 4. Pollination Helpers While we usually think of bees when it comes to pollination, ladybugs also play a part in this important process. As they move from plant to plant in search of food, they often end up carrying pollen with them. This makes them little helpers in the pollination of flowers, contributing to the health and beauty of our gardens. Embark on a journey into the unexplored, from the microscopic bugs to the infinite cosmos. Plunge into a universe of fascination and mystery. Don't let your inquisitiveness diminish. Maintain your passion for learning. Demonstrate your support by hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you, and until next time.